Hello, my name is Mel Philbrook, and I'm the Strategic Development Director here at Frontier Precision, and welcome to another Tailgate Tuesday. It's been a while since I've done one of these, but there's been exciting new announcement from Trimble about their Trimble RTX 100% Attach program that's caused some uh, uh, questions from customers, and we thought we'd do this Tailgate to help get them answered. Trimble recently announced that the Trimble R12i, R780, R580, and R750 receivers will include a ready to use 12 month subscription to Trimble Centerpoint RTX or Trimble Fieldpoint RTX based on receiver configuration. This 12 month subscription is basically been provided to you, the end user, to give you an opportunity to try a new tool that will help um, augment or uh, provide uh, a source of uh, fail safe for RTK correction methods. This tailgate will hopefully show you uh, how you can utilize this free service uh, that's been given with the 100% attachment program. So let's jump over to the receiver and I'll walk you through on how you can utilize this new uh, RTX correction service. So <clears throat> I'm about ready to uh, conduct a standard survey using UHF radio from base to rover. And then I'm going to uh, run into a scenario where I lose radio. Many people have asked, hey, um, is there some way to augment uh, UHF RTK or even cellular based VRS RTK when I lose UHF radio or I lose cellular uh, because of a, I, I drop over a hill and now I don't have cellular. Now, uh, today's demonstration, I'm gonna show you how that can be done using this new 100% attachment program. I'm gonna go over to the menu and I'm gonna drop down to settings. I'm gonna drop down to survey styles and I'm going to uh, modify my RTK survey style to benefit from this new RT, Centerpoint RTX. So by editing the RTK survey style and going into rover options and clicking edit, I'm gonna drop all the way down to the bottom here. And there was a radio called Xfil. Some of you might be familiar with um, Xfil without a center point RTX subscription. And what that would have done is if you happen to lose UHF radio and you had XFIL on, you would be able to get corrections from uh, using uh, a space-based augmentation RTX correction, and you would be able to continue to measure. However, you would actually uh, lose accuracy of one centimeter per minute, up to four minutes, and then it would no longer work. Now, because I have this 100% attachment program on this receiver purchase, any new receiver purchase after 1 April 2024, and it came with that complimentary RTX subscription, by turning on that radio, you're, I'm going to demonstrate how now I will be able to switch from radio loss straight into uh, space base correction of using RTX over SV which is a, um, it, here in Idaho, that satellite is a geostationary North America satellite at 158 degrees azimuth and a 37 degree elevation. So I'm gonna store this survey style, escape out of this, and we're gonna fire up the base here. So I'm gonna come over here under measure and use that survey style and start my base. My point name is 10. 
My antenna height is four using the lever arm extension. I'm gonna change this station index to 13. Uh, that way when I start transmitting on a UHF frequency, that station index will identify that that base is 13 in my base. I'm gonna hit start and the base got started. I'm now going to uh, choose to pick measure right from the map screen as a shortcut. Choose that survey style next. It's automatically going to switch and transfer from this data collector from the base to this rover. It's connecting and now um, starts to build the, uh, the, uh, the radio list of a station index 100. This is all standard RTK. Um, nothing, nothing normal here uh, or uh, nothing that you're not accustomed to. So uh, since this is an R12i, I've got to accelerate the IMU either by walking or giving it a, a spin. And my IMU is accelerated. And you can see that I have uh, uh, RTK plus IMU and great precisions. Now you'll notice there's a new symbol on the RTK radio uh, symbol that has a clock on there. If I was to click on this, you'll see that I have a station index from this base coming to me that's 13. 100% reliability. Xfil ready is yes, which means um, um, I have Xfil turned on. But you notice right now um, the Xfil RTX ready is no. It's not quite ready yet. Give it a few more seconds and you'll see that switch to yes. And then the base date, data age is how fast or latent that RTK information is coming from the base to me. I'm going to hit back and um, I'm going to show you a handy little tool here. So I'm running an RTK scanner, heating scan. And if I turn up my volume, you can hear that that base has been transmitting to me on 462.375. And there's no other RTK user or some type of interruption happening on this frequency. That's fantastic. But this is what happens on a day-to-day -day basis. You as an RTK user will either move too far away from this 2-watt base and lose UHF radio. You might go over the hill and lose UHF radio. You might be using a VRS correction source and dropped into a non-cellular area, and now you have no, um, no RTK corrections from your base. But lucky for you now, with this center point, complimentary center point RTX provided to your receiver, you're now able to relook at the same uh, radio link and see that RT, uh, excuse me, XFIL RTX is ready. So that means I have a fail-safe or augmentation to my traditional RTK correction methods, whether it's UHF or cellular, that I can fall back on, and I'm going to demonstrate that to you right now. How am I going to demonstrate that is I'm going to shoot this point over here uh, using a standard RTK. I'm going to call this point 1000. We'll call the point check. Or RTX check. And then I'm going to hit measure and just do a standard topo shot here. And I'm going to take these shots up to 10 seconds so it's something a little bit better than a standard two epic two second topo shot and store that. Stored. All right, so I haven't moved the pole, but what I'm going to do is demonstrate RTK radial outage by unscrewing this antenna. So it wouldn't matter whether I've gone too far away from the base and I lost radio, but you now notice 
My radio symbol went to a red X because I have now lost my radio. And my base data age is creeping up from one to three seconds now up to something higher. And you now notice that the, that same symbol switched to a satellite. And then also in the upper right, it says RTK plus IMU XFIL. And my precisions are stated there. So what this demonstrated is as if you ever needed to take a few more shots and you lost UHF radio and you go, I just have a few more shots I need to take. Or if you ever were using a VRS and you intermittently lost cellular, is there an augmentation or a fail safe that could be provided to your Trimble R12 receiver? You're seeing it right now. I'm gonna go ahead and measure this point And I'll take that up to an additional 10 seconds. And I'll store that. I'll hit escape and I'll come in and use Kogo and inverse from 0.1000 to 1001. And you can see my horizontal and vertical differences there. So, I hope that this tailgate was able to demonstrate the power of Centerpoint RTX, not as a primary source, but as a fail-safe or augmentation to standard UHF RTK or cellular-based RTK when you lose information from your localized base, that there's a correction source and you can see that here by hitting the sky plot and going to plot that I have an RTKX satellite. If I go over to my list, you can see, like I mentioned, at, if you have a clear view to one, an azimuth of 158 and an elevation of 37, I'm going to be good to go. I have a fail safe using this new uh, type of technology. Thank you for watching this tailgate today. Contact Frontier Precision to learn more about Centerpoint RTX and how it can assist you as a GNSS user. And just remember, how you measure matters.